There you go. Hello, welcome to This Is Us. I'm Becca King-Reed and this week we're at the Happy Hollow Park and Zoo and I'm with the lemurs and they are so gentle. They're beautiful creatures from Madagascar. They're hungry <laughs> and they like fruit and they're endangered. So they, you can see their beautiful fur is uh, meant for rainforest. And so they can, uh, the fur actually keeps the rain off them. You'd rather have a cherry, is that it? Okay, want a berry? All right, their tails are lovely. I don't know if you can see them on camera, but their tails are about two feet long. And they've got lovely hands. And uh, with those hands, they can hang from branches and uh, they have, uh, they don't have opposable thumbs, but they have opposable toes, so they can really get a good grip. They live to be about uh, anywhere, 20 years or, or more. Oh no, I'm out of fruit, I'm so sorry. They are just lovely animals. A little later in the show, we'll meet more animals, including some wonderful meerkats and a porcupine. Happy Hollow Zoo is the first amusement park and zoo in the country to be certified LEED Gold, by the U.S. Green Building Council, and we'll learn more about that later, too. We've got a lot of stories to share, and it all starts now. This is us. This is us. This is us. Welcome back to This Is Us. I am here with Vanessa Roger and Vanessa, tell me who your friends are. So this is Lori. Lori's part of our education department. And this is Zoe, who is a prehensile tail porcupine who's also part of our education department. Well, she is lovely. And tell us a little about her special role here and then we'll find out more about Zoe. So uh, Zoe is one of our animal ambassadors. So she actually spends time, she doesn't, she's not on exhibit here at the zoo, but she actually goes out to schools, to community centers. So she brings the zoo out into the bigger world. Now, if you send Zoe out to school, she must be pretty safe, although she's covered in spikes. <laughs> so <laughs> tell us about the spikes. So those are her quills and they're used for her protection. And, and a lot of people think that people, that, that porcupines can throw their quills and they can't. It's just a myth. <laughs> so we're perfectly safe here? Yes. Now, I understand you can pet a porcupine. How do you do that? Very carefully and in one direction. <laughs> okay, so only petting down? Correct. If and you so pet the other way, you're going to come out with a handful okay. of quills. <laughs> sort of like those spikes in the parking lot. Yeah. Now, what's she eating? She is eating peanuts right now. This is one of her training foods. And Lori, you can see here, is having her do a series of behaviors, but she has to do that for a peanut. So she's, oh, so you can train a porcupine. You can. I think you can train a lot of animals, and, and Zoe does a great job at it. Now, where did these come from? They're from South America. They're different than the North American porcupines here in this area. But uh, you can see that the biggest difference here is their tail, which is a prehensile tail, which they, uh, is used for climbing and hanging on. So they can really grab with that tail? They can. It's not like a hand, but they can use it to stabilize themselves and to make sure they don't fall out of a tree. Are they nocturnal? They are nocturnal. And um, where do they live? In the, on the ground? In the trees? No, they're more tree dwelling. Well, they are adorable. Welcome back to the Happy Hollow Park and Zoo. I'm here with Vanessa and 50 of her closest friends. Tell me about these goats, Vanessa. So these animals are part of our contact area and we have lots of other animals that people can buy some food and feed, including uh, dwarf zebus, Navajo churro sheep, miniature horses, donkeys, and of course 50 of these varied <laughs> goats. The kids must love this. This is a great experience. For a lot of kids, this is their first experience with animals besides cats and dogs. Okay, well they are wonderful. This is great. Thanks for letting me in the pen. Yeah. So welcome back to the Happy Hollow Park and Zoo. Vanessa and I are in the meerkat enclosure and they don't like fast moves. So hopefully they'll wander back in a minute. Tell me a little bit about these meerkats. So happy, hi guys. Happy Hollow is home to seven meerkats. And oops, these guys are originally from South Africa and living in the desert areas. They actually rose to fame, as a lot of people know, as Timon and the Lion King. So they became very popular. But this is also a, a species survival plant animal. It's an SSP animal. And what that means is, is that zoos across the United States cooperate to protect the genetic pool of many animals. So it's like a computer dating for animals. And they keep 
they keep track of who's who's had babies with who's and at a certain point they may ask us to move some of our animals to a different zoo or have new animals come here for breeding purposes and it's about keeping the genetic pool clean in captivity and and why would that be important so it's, it's about keeping a viable pool of genes for an endangered animal, but it's also about the possibility of one day if there's habitat left in the wild to actually reintroduce them again. So it's a little bit of both. Well, it sounds like a, a good plan, and they sure they sure look happy. What have you got there in your, your uh, paper towel tube? So this is enrichment, and this is what the keepers do for the animals every day on a daily basis. It's, it's, a, a, it's a mix of, of uh, so this one here is some grass hay in it, but also crickets and mealworms. And every day the keepers make something new for the animals, and it's about engaging their senses, whether it's their sense of smell, uh, their, their, their sense of touch, whatever it is, and it's about exhibiting natural behavior. So they're foraging for their food instead of always having it served on a dinner plate for them. <laughs> they look like they enjoy it. They do. Now these are babies? They are. The, these are the twins that we had that were born here last year. So even though they're about the same size as the adults now, they're a little bit uh, friendlier. Oh yes, there's a curious guy. Yeah. Aww. Now the meerkats, what they're famous for is their um, their sentinel. Yes, there's always a guard standing. So there's always one standing to make sure they're looking for uh, big birds, hawks flying overhead, anything that could potentially be a threat to the to the mob. Okay. Welcome back to the Happy Hollow Park and Zoo. Vanessa, I know this is a special anniversary for you. Tell us a little about that. It is. This is our 50th anniversary. We opened the gates in March of 1961. Oh my gosh. And I know you have another great thing to celebrate. Tell us a little bit about your special certification. So in 2008, we, when we closed for a major renovation, we actually decided to go green during the process. So we are now the first amusement park in the zoo in the country to be gold lead certified, which is leadership in energy and environmental design. So everything was built green. Congratulations Thank on you. that. It's a wonderful zoo. We've had a great time visiting you. Thanks for opening up your zoo to us. Thanks for coming. Well, for all of us at This Is Us and Vanessa from the Happy Hollow Park and Zoo, I'm Becca King-Reed saying so long.